Hi, hello and welcome to another Excel training video. My name is Ken Atigari. Now in today's lesson, I'm going to be showing you how you can use ActiveX control properties, create drop downs in combo boxes. How do we go about this? Now imagine we've got this ActiveX combo box here. As you can see, it's quite empty. It's in design mode first. Take it out of design mode. You can type in anything in here. Of what you really want, the power of this combo box is when you use it like your data validation list, when you can click on this and have a drop down. So, how do you go about uh, basically linking this up to a drop down? This is how we go about it. You click on this, sorry, quickly go over to developer. Then come over here on the controls to design mode. Before we come here, before we get to this point, I guess you know how you insert this combo box in the first place. Well, if you don't, you can always uh, go to my earlier videos or simply this is it insert, click on insert, and then place the appropriate uh, control you want into your spreadsheet. So I've come over here now that I am in design mode I can click inside this combo box I then right click I come to properties what we're looking to attach this to is a list and we're going to do that using the list field range I'm going to click out and quickly create a list here so I'll call this um, CT1 so I want a situation where when I click on this combo box I'm able to pick from CT1 all the way to CT7 come back in here properties go to list list field range now, unfortunately, unlike uh, your, you know your normal Excel where you can come and uh, click on like this in Excel, then you highlight the range. Well, it doesn't work this way, so I have to come back here, go to list fill range, and take note of my where my list is, the list range. So it's um, it's R. I also need to write the uh, the name of the tabs I should six I think it's five yep then K let me see K that should be K9 K7 five K seven to I'm not going to try moving this again so it doesn't come out K7 to let's say key 10 right this should be it out we just was up to K13 okay not to worry just click out of your design mode come in here and there you go one I didn't get the correct um, range but that's pretty much what you do you can see it's now oops what's happening here okay set to two set three you can see it's now picking from a drop down range uh thank you for watching this video uh i'm going to make more videos about uh, showing you more about active x controls the way you manipulate the properties to achieve different results it's going to be short maybe five minutes video for each property simply because i don't want to overload um the overload people that are watching the video i want them to be able to have different um, point of references to always come back to well see you soon Bye-bye.